But we begin tonight on a somber note as the Valley pauses to remember a fallen hero. Mark Curtis is live in Studio 12A with a farewell to Phoenix Police Commander Greg Carnicle. Very sad day, Caribe. Today, those who loved Phoenix Police Commander Greg Carnicle said their goodbyes. Carnicle was killed in the line of duty just over a week ago. The 31-year veteran was just months away from retiring. Team 12's Michael Doudna shows us how Carnicle's family and his brothers and sisters in blue came together to remember him. We owe this to Greg uh, because he gave the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you, Commander. He loved his family. He loved being a police officer. The streets were aligned with his brothers and sisters in blue and the community that he protected. This is so minute uh, compared to what they do every day. The little part I can do to just actually be in attendance and, and pay my respects. From Phoenix. Attention all members. To Prescott, silence. In honor and remembrance of police commander Greg Carmel. A statewide moment of silence to remember Commander Greg Carnicle. As you got to know him, he is truly a teddy bear. His crazy wit, his infectious laugh, uh, and, and honestly, uh, just a true family man. Because he was not that public person, he would say, don't make a big fuss about this. Because ultimately, he was just a family man. Outside, there were hundreds, while inside the church, because of coronavirus concerns, only a few family members sat in the pews. The Lord is kind Carnicle's daughters served as the choir. His son read from the Bible as his priest spoke about a man taken too soon. That even though he has passed way too young, you will be able to share his spirit. Outside, officers, firefighters, and honor guard standing watch for a man who watched over us for 31 years. Officers, firefighters, honor guard, this miss. And of course, our hearts go out to his family tonight.